I'm back. Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, it's so good to be back and doing another video. Um, I've just had so much trouble. <laughs> um, within the last week, I've had to reboot my whole computer. Basically, I was editing um, the video for the Grim Manor that I did, and the computer said no. The computer said I'm not having it. It's just not for me, the show. I found it really difficult. Waking up crying and feeling panicked every day. So, do you know what I love? Do you know what I love myself too much to put myself through this? I'm very sorry if I've let anyone down, or if I've caused any ag. But I have to look after number one. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Can't do it. I have to go. And it just refused to start up, and I had to, in the end, reboot the whole system back to factory settings. Um, so pretty much just lost everything that I had on my computer um, so work stuff and college stuff it's all all gone and, and sim stuff so I had to basically just reinstall everything thankfully um, last couple weeks last month couple months few months um, basically anyway recently I've not been playing with any mods in the game so um, apart from like one, well apart from MC Command Center because, you know, the game is unusable without that. But um, yeah, I so it wasn't that hard to redo and, and collect all that one mod, and collect that one mod again. So um, yeah, that's what I've been going through the last week. So unfortunately because of that, I've lost all of the footage and I can't do a video for the manor. Um, which really annoyed me because it was like, it took me like a whole week to edit it. Um, I had like over 24 hours worth of footage and I sat and I went through it all. I edited it, I did the voiceover. It was like, it was just as I was about to export it um, to be uploaded to YouTube was when my computer crashed. So yeah, I've unfortunately, um, that won't be coming out now um, but it's still available to download if you want to download it um, just to introduce this build so this was something that I was gonna do when I my plan was to do a really small build because after doing the mansion um, or the manor or whatever you describe it um, it was such a big build and it was a 64 64 lot um yeah so it was like a, a lot of size that i don't normally build on I, I normally stick to like 20 to 30 and the largest lot i've ever done largest lot that i, I feel comfortable with on is maybe a 30 40. um it's very rare that i build on a 64 by 64 unless it's for like uh, unless i'm doing like a legacy challenge or something um but yeah the, apart from Apart from that, I don't normally build on big lots, so I the plan was I'm going to do a small lot, I'm going to do a simple lot, it's going to be um, a simple family home lot, it's going to be a, I'm going to copy Little Simsy and do a Blue Suburbia and keep it simple. Um, and then um, I started to think about what kind of build I wanted to do, and then I thought, oh, well, I don't want to just do a normal house. I thought that might be a bit boring, so I figured, why not? Why not push myself and make <laughs> a caravan? So the plan was originally to make a modern caravan. And then I ended up, um, well, you'll see in the video, I ended up completely um, foregoing that and making um, a Vardo. Yes, yeah, so I'm building on Hindwater Hideaway in Rindilfram Bay. Um, it's one of the little lots at the back that isn't connected to any road. So I was had originally planned to maybe do like an old kind of maybe rusty kind of caravan. Um, so I've got that one up debug um, as something that I could maybe 
use as reference. Um, but then I decided that I wanted to not only just do a modern one, but I thought maybe do like a, a, a wooden caravan. So Eduardo. And so Vardos, if you don't know, they're part of the um, Romani Traveller. Um, they're the type of house that a Romani Traveller would have. Um, and they are a wooden caravan, they're normally handmade. Um, they're normally passed down in generations, um, through generations of families. And yeah, the type of um, people that normally have this um, caravan are known as but more commonly known as a group called um, Gypsies. Um, so you might have heard of, heard of that. Um, but the Vardos are normally more traditional for um, Europe in Europe. Um, they come from that sort of area. But yeah, at the moment you can see I'm still trying to build. Um, ah, you can see I'm... I, ugh, yeah, and you can see here is when I just give up doing the caravan and start doing a father. Um Yeah, I just found doing a caravan too difficult. Um, so far, I'll just do a vade. Um, and vades are normally um, they're normally round. They're normally in a circle shape, but because our walls um, because our, our walls are straight, I had to kind of come up with a different way of doing it. Um, so I looked up um, how I looked at some more modern versions of Fardos, um, which do have flat walls on the side. Yeah, so I'm putting these little um, mini counters underneath because um, in the more modern style of Fardos, um with the flat walls, um, they have these as extra storage space. So just to store um, family tr valuables and or, I or items. Um, something that I found out from my research was yeah so something else that I found out from my research is that um, they're really good at storing stuff um, like every single um, little bit of space will be used um, and yeah they're really good at using up every little bit of space Oh my gosh, I can't use my brain today. <laughs> I've got no thought, no thought process go, going on at the moment. Um, yesterday, they really work hard to make sure that every little bit of space is used. Um, so you'll see that more in the second photo that I built. So I was originally just going to do one, um, but then I decided to have two. Um, so this one that I'm currently working on ends up in the Vardo for the children um, or a Vardo built, built for kids and then the second one I'm going to make is the Vardo that is built for like the parents so I thought it'd be nice because um, um, the family that I visioned I thought it'd be nice that if maybe the kids had their own space and the parents had their own space so I do go on and build that I think build it now I think okay no I'm at the moment I'm just putting down some uh, yeah I put down some trees just to kind of have that, be a bit more aware of the space that I'm using um, but you'll see here that I'm now copying over. I, I just copy over <laughs> instead of making it from scratch. Um, I know it's a little bit lazy, but um, um, I do change the colour and change it around a bit inside to make it a bit more different. Um, but yeah, the parent ones end up being more of a traditional style. Um, so one of the things that I found out when I was researching it because I didn't know much about these. I've seen them like around, but I haven't really, I've never actually been inside one and I've never, I've never seen the inside of one until I decided to make one and I, I decided to look up on YouTube. Um, sorry, I decided to look up on Google images and I was using Instagram and, and Pinterest to kind of research how these would look. Um, and they're actually furnished really nicely. Um, yeah, one of the things that I 
researched was that um, there are like cabinets like literally everywhere. Um, so I had a little bit of space um, to fit some cabinets at the end of the bed. So I did that. So I could imagine that there'd be some extra storage space. Um, I also imagine that, um, you know, they've traveled a lot and that board there were all the photographs. That's all the different places that they've been to. Um, so I kind of had a particular family in mind when I was building this. Um, so I was kind of thinking of like the Brook family. Um, so in the middle of the chalkboard, you'll notice that I've put a postcard of Riverview because that's where the family is, um, family is from. And yeah, I, as I was looking at pictures, I found this really nice one with a bed and it had this beautiful stained glass window behind it. Um, it is very traditional and, or at least the pictures that I found it had, had a very traditional and old kind of style to it. Made this little area here that I'm going to turn into a bathroom later. Um, just working on retiling and redoing the floors. Um, you know, one of the things that I found a bit difficult was trying to find a dresser that I thought would fit well. Um, so I wanted something that kind of looked like the pictures that I was looking at online. Um, that kind of looked old and kind of looked a bit like an antique. But then all of the ones that I could find were like really big. Um, and all of the small, smaller um, ones, they're all like more modern and, and look newer. Um, but I wanted something that looks a little bit old and looked, looked like it had been handed down a few centuries. Um, or not centuries, but I had it down a few generations. Um, I eventually settled on this one um, from Realm of Magic, but I still thought it found it too big. I didn't like it. Um, yeah, and yeah, like I said, like they make use of every bit of space. So um, in the Vardos, the, the beams, they all have stuff hanging off. So you can see that I've put lamps on there. Um, I couldn't find anything really that would hang on to them. Um, but yeah, I just... Oh, oh yeah, I also built these little cabinets around the side. So what I'm doing is, rather than putting them on the, on the same level as the bed and then lowering them, um, um, I put them on the level underneath the actual wallet and then raise them up. So this way, the reason that I did that is because it will stop it from causing routing issues because um, the sims won't register it as being on the same level as the um, as the bed, so it won't cause a routing issue. Um, they won't register it as, as being there. Um, yeah, I also put in a nice little couch. Um, so yeah, again, I was just really trying to make the parents' house look very traditional um, and very much kind of how a more traditional one would look. Um, with the kids, I don't stay so traditional. I'm trying to make it look a bit more modern um, and a little bit more, yeah, kind of a, a mixture between the, the old original Vardo style and the more modern Vardo style. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding in like a load of shelves everywhere as well, just you know, trying to make use of that space. Um, but I'm also trying to make sure that <laughs> um, there aren't any issues with um, routing and also um, making sure that there is space on that counter for them to Don't forget it, Jolly Farm Review is on. It's the latest indoctrinating pablum for children with not enough to do. Hey! Shut up! Yeah, so I also had some questions asked on Twitter, um, which I thought I might answer now, actually. Um, so this was going to be on my previous... I was going to answer these during my previous build. Um, but I got um, a question from um, Katharina 
Snowfear <laughs> or Catherine. We're going to call her Catherine the Sims, um, which is her Twitter name, her Twitter handle. Um, she goes, what is my favourite world? Um, and what's my favourite part of Snowy Escape? Um, and what build style? Oh, she's actually got three questions. And what is my favourite build style? Um, I love my favourite world. Um, oh, I think I really... It's a cross between Brindleton Bay um, and Windenburg. I... I was so annoyed at Brindle from Bailing it an update during um, Solani, uh, when Solani came out, when um, Island Paradise. I saw that really, I can't remember what the fact was called. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the fact that it was called when Solani came out, but um, yeah, I was a bit annoyed at that they didn't get like an update because it's got a beach in there and you can't even do anything in the ocean. It just seemed a bit stupid, really. Um, but yeah, Brindleton Bay um, and Windenburg, and again, Windenburg, I think, would have like could have been greatly updated to allow um, swimming in the ocean because you, you've got beaches in that again. Um, so yes, it's a draw between those two. My favourite part of Snowy Escape. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to the gameplay um, and not the sentiments because they've been added, but. Uh, the more depth, I just I just love depth, and I love storyline, and I love um, I love gameplay. Unfortunately, The Sims Four just kind of lacks in all of those. Um, but yeah, I just yeah, I just kind of love all those aspects. I'm kind of waiting for that. And one of the other things that I'm really excited for is school uniforms. <laughs> so it might seem like a really stupid thing to be excited about, but I went to a grammar school, um, so we had to wear like a blazer, a tie, a jumper. We had to, we had to literally wear like a kind of what looked like a business suit. Um, so we had like a very like, so we had like a, a very kind of strict uniform that we had to wear. So if I had to suffer in my uniform, I want my sins to suffer in my uniform. <laughs> Um, and my favourite kind of style, um, I love it, like Victorian or blue suburbia, as Lucinzi equals it. Um, and I love those kind of style of builds. I want to practice more with my modern style. I think it's something that I'd like to have it go at. Um, my modern ones always end up looking a little bit weird, <laughs> but it's definitely something that I want to prove on. I, I, I want to get good at. Or different areas. Um, um, so Ariane Justia asked me, um, what are your favourite packs and what do you like about them? Um, my favourite packs, well obviously get together and, and pets because they brought to my favourite worlds. Um, but if I wasn't counting that, my favourite pack. Oh. Well, let's, let's do favourite expansion pack. Favourite expansion pack has got to be... Oh, I don't even know. Oh. Um, yeah, I'd say Windenburg. Windenburg um, um, Get Together. Get Together was really cool because it added groups. Um and you know I had like some really cool activities that you could do so I like that um, my favourite GP um, oh it's a cross between the magic one Realm of Magic and Vampires um, not that I play any of cons very much but like just the build by and the cast items that were introduced with those two which is like really cool and I really liked them um, my favourite stuff pack hands down Journey to Batu. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah no not Journey to Batu, but Journey to Batu, oh, it's such a terrible pack 
I was really excited when I watched the live stream because, like, there was like, oh, it's inspired by Disney, a Disney theme park, and I kind of forgot that Star Wars had anything to do with Disney. So when they said like it was like influenced by a Disney theme park, I was like, oh my gosh, we're gonna get roller coasters and theme parks and like special holidays and stuff like that. And then it was like, oh, it's Star Wars. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, and I was even more disappointed because I'm kind of grew up on the original, the, the original trilogy. Um, well, I didn't really grow up on the original trilogy. I think the original trilogy came out before I was born, but I kind of knew more about the original trilogy. Um, like with Luke Skywalker. Actually, is Luke Skywalker, is that the original? I think the original is it's with Luke and Leia, right? I think that's the original. I, I know those ones. So the pack didn't really have anything to do with them, do with those characters. So it was around the characters I didn't really know and didn't really have any interest in. Um, and the characters I did know know from that franchise weren't in the game. So I didn't really care for it, to be honest. Um, but my favourite stuff pack, I think my favourite, I thought I'd have a look. What are the stuff packs? Because I can't remember what they are at the moment. Um, stuff packs. Um, so Machino stuff was kind of cool. Um, I really do love Nifty Knitting. And I've been putting like a rook and chair and knitting kit in nearly every single one of my builds that I've been doing so far. <laughs> like, it was... I voted for this stuff pack. I voted for it to be... When they, they did the um, did the interviews, I voted for um, a creative stuff pack, and I voted for Nifty, and I voted for a knitting pack. Um, I, yeah, it, and I was just so impressed by it, and the way that they interacted with the community when they were making it, it was just so good. Um, like, they did so much. They showed you how they did the cast objects, showed you how they did the build by objects. They showed you, like, how they were developing, like, Plopsy and and all like the different aspects of it. They were so open about it, and it was just so much fun. And they were asking us like, how how would this? How do you think this pack should um, interact with like other packs that we've done? And it, it was just so cool how they did like the community feedback, and they were just being so open about it. Um, and it kind of annoys me because if you can do that for that pack, you can do that for every pack, and. I know Lindsay Pearson has been like, oh, well, we'll be more open. We can be more open and we'll, we'll do this. But then, like, we haven't seen it. Like, your word's empty. And it just annoyed me that if, if like, a pack like that can be so open, why can't the other packs be? But <laughs> I'm, um, I'm, um, I'm, yeah, just getting a little bit off track <laughs> Um, so her other question was am I doing the recent spark challenge no I didn't do anything for the recent spark challenge um, she asked like what would I be doing a a, a, a story a, a, a cast or a house um, I did almost do the wedding destination one and I had characters that I made for that um and then I, because I, I was going to do all three, so, but I just ran out of time. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, so yeah, back to the video, back to the build, the, you know, the thing that we're actually here for. Um, I knew that there was these, um, I can't even think what they're called. These, these metal things that you put stuff on. Um, they're normally you put the boats on it. I can't think of what they're called. Traders. I knew that they were... <laughs> it's such a, such a simple word. I knew that there were trailers in the game. But um, I couldn't find them the first time I tried to look for them. And I just thought, oh, maybe because they're in Sims 3. You can actually you can get them in Sims 3. And I was like, maybe I just thought that they were in the Sims 4. And they're not. And they're actually in the Sims 3. So <laughs> I, was like, I just gave up on them. Um, but yeah, I've... I'm gonna yeah explain a bit more so ah 
I forgot about the tent, so I added in a tent so that um, if there was like a family member that was visiting, um, there wouldn't be any spare space for them to stay in Nevada. So I've set up a tent so that any family member visiting can, uh, um, can use that. But yeah, I'm going to show some pictures now. Um, and the pictures are going to have a family. Um, I'm going to show a family in them as well, just so you can see how um, the play test, the, the, the playability of the house as well. Yeah, so I hope you like the pictures um, and I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, it lets me know that you're enjoying the content that I'm making and it encourages me to do more. Um, and yeah, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content from me and go and follow me on Twitter. Um, I'm trying to be a bit more active on Twitter. It's not something that I'm very good at, um, but yeah, I'm trying to trying to be more active on that. Um, so try and, you know, come and give me a follow on there and try and interact with me. I try, I do try and respond to tweets. Um, I'm running a competition at the moment on Twitter. Um, I'm running a giveaway, sorry, at the moment on Twitter. And I just got so many comments on that post um, that it just became too difficult to reply to every single comment. So I do apologize if you've commented on there and I haven't, haven't commented back. I have tried to. I have tried to like every single comment that has been made. So that I am trying to interact with you guys, but it was just a bit too much. Um, but I do try and comment and, and reply to comments of it in other places. Um, but I'm going to end the video here, and I hope you have a lovely day or a lovely evening or lovely afternoon wherever you are. And yeah. Um, Goodbye and happy simming. <laughs> Bye.